Hello, everyone, and welcome to our virtual open evening. I am Dr. Haley Wilson, and I'm the faculty lead of health and education at Hugh Bird University Centre. And we provide a range of opportunities for students from those who are completing their A-levels to those who are mature students or perhaps have been out of education for some time. We have a range of courses available across different topic areas, and there are still some places available. This afternoon, myself and colleagues are going to give you some insight into the provision and support on offer. But first, we would like to show you our introductory higher education video. Well, I chose the course over at Hugh Baird because I really felt that on interview and talking to the tutors that it was a really supportive environment. My expectations at the university were in all fairness, I didn't know what to expect. I went from college straight to uni, gone through that whole experience of new class, new people. Yeah, I expected it to be a friendly environment, I expected to get along with everyone. But it was good just getting to know people, getting to know new people. The tutors were never very nice. It just seemed like you'd known them forever. Honestly, I was unsure of what to do with my life with the course that I'm doing. Not only that, I enjoy it, but it'll help me towards getting that job, whatever it might be that I'm applying for. The goal for our students is to graduate with a good qualification that's embedded employability. Formula for success at uni. Responsibility, commitment and motivation. The student community is really positive and the atmosphere is really good, like it's dead friendly. A good effective tutor is one that really listens. It allows you to be yourself, it allows you to take risk. But really inspires you to want to do better and actually see the end result. And just allows you to go mad, go crazy with your ideas. Uni meant to me that you were educated to a level that you were taken seriously in your profession. Courses that we're studying, it, they're very informative, you know, they're very in-depth. It was a broad range of knowledge on the subjects that you know, we want to go into and the tutors are very supportive of the path that we want to pick as well. Liverpool is absolutely amazing to live in. Not only have you got the city atmosphere going for you, you've got the nightlife as well, which is supposed key to being a student. Advice for students, if you want it, go for it. You are going to be learning all of your life so to get a university qualification will allow you to go anywhere in the world and go and work. Okay so Angela is going to come on to give you a little bit more information into our provision here at Hubert. Hello, hello and good evening. Uh, my name is Angela O'Brien and I'm standing in today for Martin Harrington, who's the Director of um, Teaching and Learning. My role within the University Centre is Faculty Lead for the Creative Industries. So I'm just going to give you a little insight on what we can do to help and support you when you're here. So our role is to quality assure our provision and make sure that your time with us is as supportive and productive as possible. Our lecturers all have uh, industry links and up-to-date subject knowledge with extensive teaching and uh, experience. At the beginning of the course, you'll complete what we call an induction assignment. Uh, and it's to see if you require any further support uh, with your written work or with your digital work. So if we can help you from the, the, day, the day you walk in. If you do any additional workshops, we may, they may be put on to help you as well. Study skills resources will be available for students on the virtual learning environment and study skills sessions may be organised with your personal development time management. If you're worried about your literacy and numeracy skills, which I know a lot of people are when they're coming back into education, um, you can dis discuss your needs and speak to one, either your tutor or you can when you come in for your interview or you can contact the DSA or the SEN coordinator on, and I'll if you want to, I'll do this slow so you can write it down. 0151 353 4444 extension 5920. I'll repeat that. It's 0151 353 4444, and the extension to ask for is 5920. 
0820-2820. Alternatively, you may wish to contact Matt Wilson at hubert.ac.uk. Um, I'll do that again if you're still writing. Matt Wilson, matt.wilson at hubert.ac.uk. And then we also have our our student experience team uh, student who can fully support you with information over a range of areas, for example, course information, admissions, safeguarding, health and well-being, um, careers advice and financial support. So it's all here for you. Um, now I'm going to, uh, excuse me, I've got a sore throat. Now I'm going to hand you um, back to Hayley for another video. Hi everyone. So here at Hubert University Centre we understand the importance of making sure we are helping prepare our undergraduates for the world of work. We ensure that employability skills are embedded into all of our higher education programmes and we have strong links with both local and national employers. This means that students take part in live briefs, are visited by guest lecturers and industry experts and go on visits to employers' premises. Many of our alumni students return to Hubert University Centre as guest speakers, passing on their experience, advice and expertise to the next generation. All of, the, um, all of this, of course, contributes to both our full-time and part-time students leaving the Hubert University Centre career ready. Our degree level qualifications are valued by employers and we work with many different industries to ensure that our programmes have that vocational edge. The courses are work related and are aimed at those who prefer to take a vocational route and build up the skills and knowledge to progress and succeed in the competitive job market. Each of our programmes are designed by a team of academic specialists from the University Centre and our partnership university as well. Working closely alongside experts from within the profession or industry concerned is also really important to us. That way, undergraduates can be sure that the course is academically strong and meets the needs of the employers and the wider market. On the screen, there is a list of courses that we offer within the Faculty of Health and Education. So that is the, the faculty that I am responsible for. So you can see there you've got the different topic areas. So you've got your health and social care, mental health and well-being, children, young people and their services, health, nutrition and physical activity and also initial, an initial teacher education. So these courses um, are varying in levels. So we have levels ranging from three to six and also the postgraduate level provision, which is our teacher training. These courses have been validated with and are affiliated to the University of Central Lancashire. One course in particular I would like to draw your attention to is our foundation degree in health, nutrition and physical activity. So that's actually a new foundation degree and ran for the first time this academic year. The course is aimed at those who are interested in helping to improve the health, well-being and fitness levels of both individuals and groups. And it's a quite an innovative course provision which will provide the skills and knowledge required to work with the general public, offering advice on the impact that diet and lifestyle can have on their long term health. It will also equip students um, and our well, graduates for careers in community health and wellness, physical activity, fitness, health improvement and nutrition. So it's quite a, a niche course that we have on offer there. Our other courses incorporate both academic and work-based learning approaches, which may require students to be in a subject-related placement. This placement can be paid or voluntary, and that is dependent, of course, on the, the different foundation degree that you embark on. You may have to fulfil a number of hours in this placement, but this will provide you with valuable hands-on learning in your chosen career area. The courses we offer would be relevant to those who are working or intending to work with individuals, families, groups or communities, children, older people, people with physical or learning disabilities, young people or those with mental health or drug and alcohol related issues, 
And our courses, as you can see, are really diverse. We offer a real broad range of specialist topics. Assessments will take place in the form of essays, case studies, presentations, storyboards, reports, research activities and group work. The reason for this is we like diversity to give all of our students the opportunity to have access to inclusive learning and also to have learning preferences met. We have a range of resources available both at QBED but also through the University of Central Lancashire um, which enable you to study on your course. So we have a range of online resources. Delivery of modules include seminars, presentations, group discussion, debates, case studies, reflective journals, portfolio building, and also a portion of independent study as well. So many of our students ask us about career progression, so I'll just briefly touch upon this. So on successful completion of our courses, students either embark on further study at postgraduate level, which takes them into careers such as social work, psychological well-being, or perhaps even teaching. Others may gain employment within their current placement or workplace, so many progress onto managerial roles or gain promotion. Other potential career pathways may include support work, youth work, counselling, rehabilitation support, statutory or voluntary positions, charity organisations, hospitals and community based job roles. So again, lots of opportunities for career progression. We still have places available on many of our courses within the Faculty of Health and Education. So if you would like more information regarding the range of courses we have on offer, please do visit our website or you can contact us to inquire directly. So now I will just pass you over to Angela again, who's going to talk about the courses in the Faculty of Creative Industries. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Um, if you're, I'm, I'm faculty lead for creative industries and I'm really passionate about the creative industries. We have an amazing array of courses within the faculty. So if you're interested in all things design, I'm sure there'll be something there that will grab your attention. Now, a lot of people come on back into education or start and afresh, maybe a bit scared, a bit, a bit out of the depth thing, but everything is there to support you. Um, we will support you from the minute you walk in and a lot of design work isn't art a lot of design work is about ideas um the world is run on design everything around you is design my glasses have been designed my top's been designed the wallpaper behind me has been designed the tin of beans you're having for your dinner's been the labeling's been designed the world is run on design and um it, there's plenty of avenues to go out into employment um, the faculty has a wide range of courses. So if uh, on the screen in a minute, you'll see some of the courses we deliver. So you've got visual merchandising and promotional design. That's one of the courses I teach on personally. That's a retail course design and from everything from window displays to packaging to promotional campaigns. There's graphic design, which is all around you every day. Everything you see is a graphic. Fashion and textile, a uh, an amazing course for all those fashionistas out there if you want to learn how to draw it make it and wear it this is the course for you digital imaging and photography if you want uh, if you get a chance by walking past the university center at any point there's a fantastic display exhibition in the windows uh, of the photography students moving images if you're into journalism if you're into movie making if you're into all things move an image this is the course for you interior and spatial design that's another course i teach on um this is more about commercial interiors this is not about curtains and cushions it's more about commercial doing for hotels working for shop retail uh working for exhibition design so that covers a lot of commercial uh, exhibition design games design and creative media makeup and media design and practice which is a very successful course links a lot with industry um so there's an array now we also have a course called uh, foundation entry now this course is for those people who can't make their mind up and it's we also call it year zero so if you can't remember the name write year zero down um and that's a course where you'll try a little bit of all the, the above and then you can specialize in your second semester 
on successful completion and good attendance. You'll be offered a place um, on the degree um, with, with the qualification you gain from the foundation entry. We also have a fine art course um, at level three, which links in the university centre. All our courses, there's no exams as such. We tend to do coursework, portfolio work, peer review. So there's none of that sitting down drawer and doing, you know, it's all ongoing. So you can track your own progress and we can track your progress and we can identify whether you need more help in one area or another. So it's a really good way to be assessed. Um, employment opportunities are amazing. The city itself is full, is a massive creative hub. There's, if you've only got to go down the Baltic Triangle, there's so much creativity, opportunities for creativity venting out there that um, a lot of our students do go on to employment. However, if, if some students may go off into their masters, we've had several complete their BAs this year and go off and do a masters in a variety of subjects from marketing to um, graphics, to interior design, to fashion. We've got all the students who um, might go off and uh, decide, well, I'll take a year out and I'll work. And then some come back and go into teaching. So um, they complete their teaching qualification uh, and they come back to us and teaching. Um, so, excuse me, my throat's going bad, I'm gonna have to drink. Um, so if you've got any questions, you can just contact myself directly or go through the switchboard. Uh, we have an open policy. Do come in as long as I think we're still social distancing, but you can come in. You can speak to me on Angela.O'Brien at uh, huber.ac.uk. Um, if, you, if you want to just contact and come in and have a chat about all the courses. Um, uh, and so now I'm going to hand you over. I think we're on another video now, if I'm not mistaken. I was showing two creative students talking about their experience uh, while they were at the university centre. I mean, the main reason why I come to choose to come to the university centre uh, was its locality, really. Um, obviously, UCLan is the um, awarding body for the university I chose. But just with the locality and the break in the tuition fees and it just suited me much more than actually travelling to Preston. No, I didn't always know that I wanted to go to university. I always thought pretty much I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, didn't understand the process or anything but I went to college and I just wanted to learn more, more in depth uh, about the industry and what subject I was learning. Thinking back now, I do think it was a really good decision to join the University Centre, definitely. Um, I've really enjoyed it and as I say, I've done the foundation degree and now moved on to the BA and it is something that I do not regret at all. The tutors were very welcoming and they offered, you know, you could, if you needed to talk with them about anything, you can. So it felt very comfortable. In terms of the support from the tutors was amazing, especially because, which is one of the good things about studying in this format, is the class sizes are not too big, you know, because they're a lot more intimate than they would be if you were actually on a campus. Um, speaking to friends who've gone to other places, their classes were so large at some times where the tutors didn't even know their names, whereas at some times there'd be only five, six of us in class, do you know what I mean? And it would just be almost like a one-to-one. -one. It was really, really cool because it was intimate. It was great to be in the class with people from different backgrounds, different age ranges. As I left, I didn't go straight into college. I had a few years out, so I went to college and then I came here. So I was in the middle, so it was great to see people that were younger than me and people that were older than me. And it was just a great community, kind of, in the class. We had loads of guest speakers, uh, makeup artists from all different aspects of the industry. And also we had great trips, so we went to America, we went to New York, that was brilliant and we'd done everything makeup related, watched the Broadway show, um, went to MAC, we had, it was just closed just for us, we had um, one of the tutors there teaching us things and then we had a discount in the shop, that was great. <laughs> and then we also went to London, so we went to IMATS, which was great, that was a great experience. I would definitely recommend the University Centre 100% to friends and family, I mean, it's such a relaxed atmosphere. Uh, the faculty, it's, it's a pleasant um, experience. The building, I mean, I've enjoyed it that much that I've come back again to do my PGCE certificate. 
Um, it's just a really nice environment to be in. Yes, I would definitely recommend the University Centre, mainly because it just gave me that extra edge and also the creativity of being unique in your designs. And I think that's what's helped me be employable now, and especially my knowledge of products and really understanding what a client will want. For me, the student experience at the Hubert University Centre has been amazing. Um, I've been here nearly four years now and it's just so relaxed, it's fun, it's friendly. Um, everyone's approachable, uh, the building, the facilities, they're really, really good. I definitely 100% recommend it. And now I'd like to introduce one of my wonderful students, uh, Rob, who is talking about his experience of our Health and Social Care Foundation degree. Yeah, so my name is Robert Porter. I study Health and Social Care uh, first year foundation degree. I'm a senior support worker uh, for adults with uh, a variety of different um, diagnosis. Um, so I completed me level three whilst in me placement uh, and I just wanted to better me um, the experience really. I thought I'd struggle really because from being in high school to university it's more academic writing and, uh, and like researching um, reference and stuff which I thought I'd probably struggle with, but obviously due to the lectures here, that's got me through the course. I think that shock factor was gone after like, the first two weeks. I found the course really good, to be honest. Uh, it's gave me uh, the experience and the knowledge uh, to better my skills as well within work. Uh, I've met obviously loads of obviously new friends uh, on the course. Uh, as well with the lectures as well, so lectures are always there for me if I need them. Just give them a quick uh, email on Teams um, or obviously book to come in and speak to them while I'm on in, in campus, which they've helped me massively to be honest when I am struggling. They've just said come and speak to me, so I've gone and spoke and had a little chat with them. Um, yeah, it's been really positive from them. The Chiefs has been amazing. Um, really supportive, um, always there really, even if I'm not with them that day, I'm just having something sweet down in the canteen and they go past, just for, just say, can I just grab you for a couple of minutes just to fire a question, just to help me and yeah, they're always there to help. Uh, the SEOs, uh, even if the lectures are not available, uh, they're always like a, a message away from them on Teams or uh, they're always at their office, so yeah, it's, they've been really positive like for me in this course. So yes, I would definitely recommend the university um, university centre to anybody. Um, I have already um, advertised it in my workplace and to work colleagues as well and friends. So yeah, I recommend it to anybody to come to university. So from the course, uh, my end goal is probably to be a social worker. So uh, obviously the next points will be going to year two, uh, learning the management side of it and the more of the business run side of uh, obviously uh, a health and social care basis. Uh, also building on my uh, knowledge as well to prepare me into going into obviously that kind of um, profession really so um, yeah just building more on my knowledge um, building the experience um, and anything that I can gain from university to help me in my job and the people I support and people who, who I manage as well whilst I'm on, on, on site at my work. So thank you to Rob there for his uh, contribution to the, the video to show us his experience, which is always nice to, to get a student perspective on things. So what I'd like to do is just pass you over to Isla, who is one of our student engagement officers. And um, she's actually going to discuss a little bit about student support, but she is stepping in for Ellie Foran today, who is our 
third faculty lead and she's going to introduce our third faculty to you all. Thanks, Isla. Thank you, Hayley. Hello there, everyone. Um, my name is Isla, um, as Hayley has already said, and I'm one of the student engagement officers who you heard Rob make mention of in the video you have just watched. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what that is and what that role is and what it involves, basically what I do and why I exist. Um, but before I do that, I've got the, uh, the pleasure of telling you a little bit about the Faculty of Engineering, Business, Computing and Criminal Justice. Now, of course, I am uh, not the course leader um, and unfortunately will not be able to give you all of the details that Ellie would were she here herself, but hopefully I will uh I'll do her justice, I think. And certainly if there are any further if you have any further questions, um, we'll please ask them and we'll try and get to those at the end. So Faculty of Engineering, Business, Computer, uh, Computing and Criminal Justice is by far the longest title faculty of our three faculties. <laughs> um, but what that means basically is that it encompasses quite a big variety of different subjects. So for example, we have an excellent engineering course. We, um, as you can see in front on the screen in front of you now, uh, we have wonderful computer, computing course um, with the expert tutors, business and management from people who have both worked in business itself and also been um, entrepreneurs. They've founded their own businesses. They've worked in different aspects of business. We also have two of our more exciting subjects, and certainly those which are a little bit different, I think, which is criminology and the even newer um, policing studies course. Now, there are still uh, spaces available on all of these, and in particular, the policing studies course is an incredibly exciting opportunity uh, to take part in what is still a brand new subject, a brand new course. Uh, it is being run with Liverpool John Moores University, so LJMU rather than UCLan, and it's a brilliant chance for anyone who's interested in going into policing or learning about policing. Similarly, criminology has um, an avenue, a great avenue for jobs that are in that criminal justice system. So there are still places available. Please, please, please do get in touch if you want to find out more you can have a look at the website or indeed you can message Ellie Foran um, who is the faculty lead that's e -double -l -y dot f o r a n at hubaird.ac.uk so that's that bit what I'd like to go on to now is to talk a little bit about the role of student engagement officer ah I see the uh, the email has gone up on the screen which is brilliant so my name my role um, is I am one of three. We also have Gemma Breed and Yvonne Yule. And between the three of us, we are the student engagement officer team. Now, student engagement officer sounds very serious and very scary. It sounds like we're going to break down your doors if you don't come to lessons and we will um, haul you into university, sit you down in a chair and tie you so that you have no choice but to listen to your tutors. And yes, that is part of our job. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> we do we do do some of that sort of thing. We do try and make sure that everybody is attending their course and everybody is getting the most from it. But our main aim is to support you in your studies so that you feel confident and ready when you finish to go into the world of work. So what does this look like? There's a variety of things that we do. For example, we are basically a drop in service in some respects. You can come and see us and ask questions, ask for some support for anything that is academic whether you are new to the world of academic writing, which I presume most of you probably will be, we can teach you about referencing. We can teach you about critical analysis. We can help you push your grades from the, 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 the level of, of where you start up to that final level that you would hope to be by the end. Similarly, we have a very big desire to ensure success for you. And what that means is it's a very person-centered approach the success for you might not look the same as a success for someone next to you, might not look the same as the success of someone who has just finished their course. We want to do what is best and in your best interests. 
If you have any particular extra learning needs, for example, we are there to support you and help you get them, get things sorted. If you have, um, well, kind of any other needs, if you have personal situations, anything like that, we can help. We are here to help. Now, we also run workshops, regular workshops, starting in October and running till Easter. We will hold weekly workshops, um, each of us, so it ends up being quite a lot, that are um, in some respects voluntary, but in other respects are designed to build on that support and build on the information that you'll be getting from your tutors. So you will get lots of extra information from things like referencing to um, working on one just now on conflict resolution, in fact, that you will find useful in the world of work. And while we're on the topic of work, a particular focus for us is employability and careers. Throughout the year, there are careers events that run um, and are facilitated by us and our marketing team. There are lots of opportunities to get involved with meeting people from professional backgrounds, both locally and nationally. We especially want to focus this year on um, the, those who maybe are underrepresented. And so we'll give you some idea of some of the opportunities that are available. So I've kind of splurged a lot of information for, for, for you there, and I'm going to stop for now. Um, however, feel free, absolutely free, to contact us to try and ask for any further information. And in particular, if you do have some kind of learning need um, or indeed an access need, if you are disabled in any way, whether that be for a learning difficulty like dyslexia or whether it be for some kind of physical reason, get in touch with us or get in touch with our what's called disabled students allowance officer coordinator sorry our dsa coordinator matt wilson who's been mentioned before we will be able to give you advice on how we can help support you to get the best from your time with us we want you to do your best and we will help you to get there that's our job and that's our promise to you i suppose um, and between us and a whole group of support, including the academic tutors themselves, of course, with whom we work incredibly co closely, we will get you to the place where you need to be. And that's it, I think. Um, I think what we'd nice to, um, sorry, I'm just having a quick look. Yeah, so uh, there's a, a comment from a student, I think, which is going to come up on the screen just now from Paula Lee. Ah, yes. Hi, Paula. Uh, hi, Isla. Hope you're OK. Can't wait to get back in September and see you then. Uh, yes, indeed. You too, Paula. Um, it's, uh, it's it's brilliant to hear from you. And it's brilliant as well for all of us to hear, for us to hear from everyone who is part of our student body. There's lots of people who are um, who we've met and who we've gotten to know. And we 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 meet everyone you will know who we are because <laughs> we'll be coming around all of your classes we're always there we're very loud uh Gemma and i will um jo walk in and just say hello and have a chat and do whatever we need to do um and you will get to know us and as you can see sort of from that comment there um that you know there there you people do know who we are and what we are supposed to do so that'll be fantastic OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, introduce a graduation video um, that we have. And then after that, I believe we're going to go to a little question and answer session. So I'll see you then.
Our oh, lovely graduation video there. It always brings a smile to my face watching that. I can't, ha I've seen it lots and lots of times, but it always really makes me smile seeing that the students achieving and celebrating all that achievement. Um, so I can't I'll, wait um, till this year's because I've never had one, have I? I've, um, so I'm looking oh, forward to lovely. getting to do this uh, this it's year. It's a brilliant occasion. I absolutely love it. And we all get to obviously wear our gowns again, which is, is fabulous. So I know um, we've got a QA and a as um, Isla mentioned, coming up. So I think um, some questions are just going to be coming through for us. Okay, so a question from Mia, how do I go about applying? So you can apply directly through our website, Mia. So if you go to our website, there is um, a button on there that says apply um, and you will pop the information of the course you're interested in, in that application form. And then that will be sent through to the course leader who will be in touch with you to arrange an interview or an informal chat, if that's what you would prefer initially. Okay, so we have a question from Dave. So I want to come back to uni, but worried I don't have the qualifications. What should I do? Well, initially, the first port of call, I would say, is always to contact um, the, the course lead of the course that you're most interested in, because they will be able to give you some insight into the entry requirements, which are also stated on our website. But it is important to note, um, as I mentioned earlier, we are open to mature students, students who have been out of education for some time. So, of course, we will consider work experience as part of that application as well. So I think the first protocol, Dave, is get in touch with the course leader and have an informal chat and they will advise you on what to do next. OK, so a question for Ange there. So Jane asks, do you help towards the cost of equipment for the creative courses? Um, a lot of um, the students will buy some of their equipment, but we will provide all the basic equipment. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So basic paper, card, pens, um, anything other than basic, we would expect the students to decide what they felt that they would need. But within our studios, we have all the basic equipment for you to get going from the minute you walk in. So it wouldn't be a case of, you know, there's always equipment there for you to tap into. Just waiting to see if any more questions come through. Okay, so there's a question for Isla now. So Peter asks, do you offer support for those who have been out of education for a while? Absolutely. Thank you, Peter, for your question. Yes, definitely we do. Um, in fact, we are fully ready for um, people who have been out of education for a while. And we realise that the step into um, a university course, into a university centre can actually be a very daunting one. So uh, alongside the academic tutors um, and um, other staff. We facilitate the process of an, uh, an enrollment, sorry, uh, an enrollment procedure that I believe Ange made reference to earlier, um, which is designed to help you settle in and get ready for the course that is ahead of you. It also gives a chance to identify if there are any particular areas that you might need some extra support with. And that kind of fits into where we would come and we'd offer you that little bit of support. We'd have that little bit of a chat and we'd talk through things with you. It's also worth noting that you will have access to, on your timetable every week, an SEO slot, for want of a better term, which is a time where if you are struggling, if you're having difficulty, you will be able to come and have a chat with your link SEO. Um, so it might be that you have a chat with Gemma, it might be a chat with you, you have a chat with Yvonne, it might be you have a chat with me, depending on where you are starting in your course. But that will all be made clear to you during your first couple of weeks. The important thing is to know that we are here to make sure you can do the best that you can with that first week. And if you're finding it overwhelming, hey, you're not alone and we'll get you there. 
Thanks, Isla. So we've just got um, a couple more questions coming through. So we've got Paul who has asked, um, as you are validated by UCLan, can I use their facilities as well as your own? Well, actually, you know, any of the, the um, affiliations we have, so whether that's LJMU, um, we've also got um, links with University of Cumbria as well. You would have access to those facilities. So not only can you actually go up and visit their campus and their library, because you'll have uh, your own card that is affiliated with them, associated with them, you can, of course, access all the online resources as well, both there and at Hubert as well. Um, Ange? I'd just also like to say many of the design students use the facilities in the workshops yeah. that you can as well, the printing of fabrics, um, the, the metal work. And so there's lots of opportunities to go down and book a slot in the workshops as well. That's fantastic. So you've got sort of double, double the access, haven't you? You've got more yeah. facilities, really. And actually, can I jump in there very quickly just to sort of um, to make a quick note about our facilities? We don't have anyone from the library services who are um, in this session today, but the the our our in house library services team are phenomenal and are incredibly knowledgeable and will be able to help you get absolutely anything that you need um, for your assignments or for anything else. And if they can't, they know who to put who you can who will be able to do it with you. They they will know who to point you in uh, towards and um, how to find that information. But on top of that, as Haley's already mentioned, you do have access to not just the the library as a whole, but also the subject librarians in our partner universities, in particular with UCLan, who are, are knowledgeable about the course. They know about reading lists. They know about topics and will be able to point you in the right direction sometimes literally be going this read this and you will be fine which is always good we will get taken through there will be a workshop on that in the first couple of weeks of term that you during induction to let you know how to do that and how to access those okay so we have one more question i think so isla i think this is quite a good one for you as well if you don't mind and um, oh are you okay, okay aren't you? Have a sip of water. <laughs> um, so Ruth has asked, um, she says she's got a young family and she really wants to come and do a degree. Um, and can she study around a family? And I think, Eileen, you know, you, you obviously you're supporting, aren't you, sort of all that pastoral side on a regular basis. Um, so I think that would be a good one for you to step in if that's OK. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's it's something which I get a lot of people who are quite nervous about. They will ask this question about having families and whether or not they can they can actually go through things. And the simple answer is absolutely yes, you can. We are set up in such a way that we are able to be quite flexible in terms of approaches to you and your needs. I mentioned before about um, being person centred, and sometimes that might include. For example, if you have family commitments or issues with your with your studies that are based around family. Generally, there isn't a problem. People think that there's going to be a massive issue that is going to take up so much of their time and they're not going to be able to get their studies or do anything working around family life and home life and work and everything like that. But actually, you'd be surprised at how easily doing something like a university course fits in. And if you are having difficulty, there are time management strategies. There are um, all sorts of things that we can deliver to help you get on top of things and get you feeling like you are secure. I think that's probably, you know, that pretty much sums it up. You know, don't don't it, we, we've had students from um, who have become pregnant, for example, during the course um, and who have worked with us all through that who we've supported and who we have you know, gotten through the course. Can I just say, I've just had a lovely message from one of my students who completed her first year, heavily pregnant with twins, and she's just had them. Uh, oh, oh, brilliant. A message today. So, if, 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 you know, if everything's possible. Yeah, if, if yeah. she's watching, congratulations. <laughs> yes, indeed, congratulations. I think the majority no, think... of our students, though, have families, don't they, or additional responsibilities in some way. So you wouldn't be alone in that sense, Ruth. It, it tends to be the sort of demographic of our students is very much they, that they have a lot of additional responsibilities, definitely. Yeah. So I think that's that is the last of the questions this evening. 
Um, so hopefully we've been able to give you a real insight into what we have on offer at Hubert University Centre. And um, obviously, you know, we've given you contact details that you can get in touch with us directly. You can go through our website as well if you want to. Um, but, you know, we do still have places available. I think that's the important thing. So please do get in touch with us. Or even if you're unsure of which direction you want to go in, we can give you advice and guidance. So that just leaves me to say thank you for joining us here this evening. Take care thank and you. hopefully see you soon. Thank you. See you Bye soon. Now. Have a nice Bye. Day. Bye now.